Today I'm turning this stranger I just found on the street into a viral rapper in just one month. And here's how I'm gonna do it. Find a stranger who can rap, record a hit song, film an entire music video, and promote the song all over social media. It seems to be a common belief that going viral is based on luck, but I believe with the right skills, anyone can do it. And I'm gonna attempt to prove this by getting 100,000 streams by the end of the month. And what better place to start than Venice Beach? This place is full of characters, so it should be no trouble finding us a rapper. And if you're wondering how we're gonna make this song, I have a studio booked just eight hours from now. Luckily, my good friend Justin here knows how to make music. I'm gonna make this song viral. Let's do it. Now it comes down to asking complete strangers. Do you happen to make music by any chance? No. No. no I don't know. I do uh, dabble with my metal band and stuff. Wanna hear me freestyle? Run up on my block, you finna be dead. The girl, I stole her. In these fake pit vipers. Woo! Stop playing, talk shit to me, I go Super Saiyan. <laughs> Okay. All right, let me grab your number. Okay, it was nice to meet you, man. Honest thoughts. He did his best. <laughs> Even though that guy reminded me of my two favorite things, my uncle and Young Gravy, I had to keep looking. I continued asking person after person, but couldn't find anybody. Two hours down, six more to go. I'm slightly worried because if we can't find a rapper, I have no plan, we're screwed. And with that in mind, we continued to search. Time was passing quickly and it didn't seem like luck was on our side. Do you make music by any chance? No. No? Oh. No, bro. Sorry, I don't know. No problem. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I do. You make music? Yeah, yeah, but we can talk right now. Honestly, I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem. No. Nope. Okay, thank you, man. At this point, it was all up to fate, and all I could do was hope I'd strike gold. Excuse me? Do you make music by any chance? No, I don't. Dang it, okay, thank you. Yo! What's up? What are we doing, bro? I got a question. Right now. You make music? Bro, do I make music? Of course. Really? I'm a rapper, my dog. They call me psychedelic, you know what I'm saying? Do you have any, like, music out? On Spotify or whatever? Yeah. I actually don't even have anything on there yet. Perfect, okay. perfect. Okay, can I tell you what we're doing today? What are you doing? We want to find a rapper, make a viral hit song, film a music video, promote it for an entire month, and make you viral. Let's run it. Are Let's you down? Let's get it, bro. I'm super down. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah. That, that is awesome. We're gonna go crazy, bro. I'm actually blown away, bro. Our studio session is until 9. I'll see you guys at 8? Yeah, at 8 o'clock. Let's go platinum. I love it. See you, psychedelic. Wow! Dude. <laughs> Dude, that was like the most, like, I don't even know. That People are gonna think that's fake, yeah. bro. All right, 8 p.m., which means we have some time to kill. And while we waited, it didn't take long for me to start questioning if this was too good to be true. I really like that guy, but I have this really strong worry that he might not show up. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I'm really worried. The fact that these videos never go this well had me feeling uneasy. I mean, would he even show up and could he even rap? I had no idea, but I had put my faith in a complete stranger and now our fate was up to him. All right, guys, oh my gosh. We just arrived to our rapper's house. I don't know if he's gonna show up. He's supposed to be here any second now. Oh, oh, that's him. That's him. What's up, bro? Psychedelic! You yeah. pulled through, let's bro, go! Bro, already knows what we do. If I see something, I gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? This is our ride right here. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah. Let's go, baby! I got some questions for you, bro. Since I don't know you too well. Yeah. First of all, what got you into music? Bro, so like, I remember like my grandma like showing me like Michael Jackson, just a lot of people, and just instantly something came to me where I was just like, bro, I want to do this. <laughs> How long have you been doing it now? Bro. I want to say like maybe like 10 years. What about a uh, favorite fast food? Okay, this is what we got to do, bro. Yeah. So sometimes I like to go to 7-Eleven, bro. Okay. And I literally get four Tosquitos and I get uh, four share size M&Ms. And then <laughs> I get go. a pink lemonade. And that's like how I, I live. Bro. Is, is this like a normal meal? Oh, yeah, bro. That's why I'm always like... You're on it, bro. You got to say it. Thank you, yeah. bro. What's your biggest dream? My biggest dream in the whole entire world, honestly, since I was a kid, bro, was just to like fully blow up in music my way. Especially like, cause I come from like a real small town, just to show anyone, it doesn't matter where you come from or anything. So I just really want to show everyone that anything you see is possible. You know what I'm saying? Dude. <laughs> we found the right guy, bro. Hey, so I'm excited, bro. bro I'm this so is gonna be awesome. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be like a movie right now. And after the most epic car ride of my entire life, we arrived to the studio. Here we are. This place is crazy. Oh, boy. This is crazy. Like we're in a portal. All right, so let's separate and look for clues. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no. Nah, bro. Oh, we're going crazy. <laughs> All right, let's run it. But before we could record 
a perfect song. We needed a perfect beat. All right, beat number one. And at this point, we didn't even really know if this guy could rap, but pretty soon, I think we got our answer. That's the one. Thank you. Is that the go, one? Go get in the studio, right, bro. I'm kind of like overwhelmed with greatness. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to put on this beat and he's going to just freestyle. And this man did exactly that. <laughs> this was truly one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. And I attended the Travis Scott Fortnite concert back in 2020. But this guy is so talented and watching him make this song was amazing. I learned that his name is actually Clayton and he's genuinely one of the kindest people I've ever met and his energy was just contagious. How you feeling? Bro, I feel fantastic right now. Bro. Yeah? I'm like, ah! This whole experience was just so much fun and by the end of it, we came out with a song we were all very proud of. for having me i appreciate you so much bro. of course like, every single one of you guys is a legend and it's like so dope to like be here with you guys we left the studio feeling confident that we had a song with major viral potential after saying goodbye to our new friend clayton i spent the next week creating cover art and posting the song on every platform possible once that was out of the way we drove to la again to meet back up with clayton to begin act three it's good. ready to make history yeah i'm excited Woo! Bro, I'm high. I got so many ideas. I'm super excited. All right, bet. Before we shoot the music video, we're going to make a ton of TikToks. I was thinking the best way to promote this song would be through TikTok because that's how all the songs are blowing up. I'm thinking we film like 20 TikToks and that should be a lot to work with right, for the right, promotional right. part. Dude, that would be crazy. And so we tapped into our inner Bryce Hall and started TikToking. I want your honest opinion on this track, bro. If it's whack, you actually don't like it, bro, we'll give you $20. I had a bunch of pre-planned ideas that are based off of some other artist videos that blew up to give us the best chance of virality. Using the power of strangers and acting, we were able to easily knock out 20 plus TikToks in just a few hours. We just made it to Clayton's house. This place is so cool, dude. <laughs> that was arguably the most important part. We're shooting the music video because every viral song has a viral music video to go along with it. For the first shot, I'm gonna have Clayton reenact waking up. Head a little lower. Yeah, yeah, in that light. Three, two, one, action. That's fire, bro. That looks fire. sick. Yeah, you just slip them on and then walk off screen. I know you see me over here on this beautiful side. I know? think this could cut right to you outside throwing the board down. That's the one thing I've wow. for a long time. That looks so cool. Yeah. This video has a perfect vibe to it. Again. Yes. It fits the song too. Yeah, we continued filming by going to the skate park and that's when we learned Clayton had more than one talent. For this next shot, Clayton's gonna fly out of the bowl and land on a skateboard. Let's see how this goes. Dude, I'm so hyped on that. My goal with this video was to encapsulate who Clayton is as a person, so we made sure to add in all of the things he liked. Oh my God. We filmed until we had everything we needed for the music video, and then it was time to say goodbye to Clayton. Bro. Dude, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure, bro. Literally an honor, bro. I'm stoked to see the end product. It's gonna be extra. Just crazy, bro. <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had filming a video in my, Damn, in my whole life. Dog, that's crazy. Perfect. Bring bro. it in. So thank you so much. Bro. Love you, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna go watch some Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We have a long drive home, so let's get out of here. All right, it's been a week. I finished the music video and a couple of the TikToks. Today is a very important day because today is the first day of our marketing 
campaign. Now all the famous artists we know and love have millions of dollars and massive teams to make sure their music goes viral. And others start a cult brainwashing millions of red lipstick wearing teenage girls. I'm talking about you, Taylor. <laughs> But I truly believe you don't need anything but an iPhone to achieve true virality. So for the next two weeks, I'll be editing and posting two TikToks per day that I think have huge potential to blow up. Because at the end of the day, it's skill, not luck. And so I carefully selected two of our TikToks, posted them, and now 24 hours later, let's see our first day's results. Boys, girls, hopefully not Swifties. It's been a while, we're gonna check the videos. I posted them on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok, so we'll be checking all three. I have no predictions, because I literally don't know what to expect. Let's start with Instagram. One of them got 130 views. Let's check our TikTok. Oh, both of them got just over 500 views. This is really good, dude. Let's check YouTube. Yo, two and a half thousand views. That's actually really good. We got a comment. That sounds real good, bro. It sounds like it could be a hit on the radio. Keep up the good work, stay strong, and keep the faith. Awesome, okay. I'm gonna go make some more TikToks and I'll check back with you guys when something changes. Over the next couple days, I continue to edit and post videos. I tried to make the videos as high quality as possible to give them the best chance of getting views. And after 30 posts total, none of our videos have gone viral. The most views we've seen on one video is only 3,000 views, which is nowhere where it needs to be if we actually wanna get 100,000 streams on this song, which is mildly concerning. <laughs> and this is proving to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. But I still believe that it's skill and not luck. So for the next week, I'm gonna make better videos and better content, and hopefully one of these things blows up. And so I got right to work. Making video after video, trying to come up with viral concepts wasn't easy, but I continued with hope. With the music video posted and six videos going up a day, I was able to post over a hundred videos total. With the challenge coming to an end, I posted my final two videos. And now the only thing to do is to share the results with the person that made this whole thing possible. It's time to call Clayton. I'm gonna tell him our results and share with him how the whole experiment went. This whole video has been so much fun to make and it was a great experience which reminds me we're trying to hit a million subscribers before the end of the year subscribe uh, i'm putting out content as frequently as i possibly can it's a crazy goal but you guys have shown me literally anything is possible i, I can't thank you guys enough and uh yeah i love you guys thank you so much for supporting let's call clayton yo yo what's going on the juice yes okay <laughs> i have the update okay uh-huh yep um Basically, the song has just over 300 streams. Like 300 views? Dude, it, it just happens when it's supposed to happen. It happened for a reason like this, and I wouldn't have wanted it with anyone else, bro. Like, you guys are really f***ing cool, bro. Thank you. All right, my brother, one love, bro. Later, man. Bye-bye. <laughs> And so technically, we failed. And even though we didn't achieve 100,000 streams, I don't think it was for nothing. I set out to prove that blowing up isn't luck, but in fact skill. But what I failed to realize is it's more than just skill. It's consistent dedication for years without giving up. And I think Clayton really said it best. You're not gonna get it the first time. That's what makes it so much more worth it later in life when it does happen because you've been working on it consistently. Never be afraid of something that you love to do. And if you love your work that much, you just gotta truly believe in that and go through the failure, go through everything, even the success. And just know this is what you're doing. You're doing this to live and flow. So just hit it. <laughs> I don't think all hope is lost with the song. If you wanna share this video with your aunt, your uncle, your nana, do it and watch the music video. Go show Clayton some love. Um, I love you guys so much. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You can put that.